Hi, I'm Kurt Fry. In this video, I would like to give you some tips for working with borders in Microsoft Excel workbooks. The sample file I'm using, Borders, can be downloaded using the link that you'll find below the video. In this workbook, I have data for sales for six months and four regions. It's pretty easy to read the data, but it could be a little bit easier so it doesn't blend in with the labels that I have. One way to make headers stand apart is to add borders to their cells. For example, I could select cells C3 through F3 and add a border along the bottom of those cells. So I've selected the cells, then I'll go up to the Home tab of the ribbon, and here is the borders control. The default is for bottom border, so I'll go ahead and click that. And when I click away, you can see that a border has been added below my selected cells. And that does help set the data apart a little bit more. If I wanted to create a right-hand border for cells B4 through B9, I could select them. And then go back up to the font group, click the border buttons down arrow. And at the top, I can click right border. And when I click away, the border has been applied. You can also apply what are called box borders to groups of cells. So for example, I could select cells C4 through F9 and create a border around all of them so I wouldn't have to apply left, right, top, and bottom borders individually. So I'll go back up to the font group, click the border controls down arrow, and in the second group, I have no border, which would remove all the borders that have been applied. Then all borders, which includes every border within the group, so I would have a checkerboard, basically. And then I have outside borders or thick outside borders. I prefer to use thick outside borders, so I will click that. They've been applied, and if I click in the middle, I can see that I have a border that separates the labels for my months and my regions and sets apart the data quite nicely. I often like to combine box borders with shading. In other words, changing the fill color of the cells that contain, in this case, labels. So if I were to select cells B2 through F3 and then hold down the control key and select cells B4 through B9, then I could go up to the font group and change the cell fill color. I won't do yellow. Instead, I'll click the down arrow and I'll change to a light gray. So I'll click there, and when I click inside the data, I have a much better visual difference between the label areas and also the data area. One final thing that I will note is that if you copy data from a cell that has a border applied to it and paste it into another cell, then the border comes along with it. It's just another part of the formatting. So I'll click cell F9, press Control c to copy, and then I'll go over to H4, press Control v to paste, click away, and you can see that the border came along with it. If you don't want the border, and in this case I definitely don't, you can click the Paste Options button, and in the top group, you can click the No Borders icon, so I'll click there, click away, and you can see that I just have the value and the border has not been applied. And I'll press Escape to get out of cut copy mode. And that's it. That's some of the basics of working with borders in Microsoft Excel to help make your data easier to read. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel.